Hey guys, the Skull Seeker here. So, I recently purchased six skulls, um, technically seven, so I'm going to be showing those off. However, the seventh is very questionable if I will get it because um, I am cursed when it comes to buying Mutt Jack skulls. So, I'll talk about that in a bit. So, the first one I purchased is this Florida Gar skull seen here. So, 6.5 inches and it's shipping from florida perfect condition um no damage whatsoever has all the teeth all that um really cool skull uh and that'll get here this week it's shipping to uh, my dorm so i can actually get that video out in just a few days whereas all the others are getting shipped to my house because the school year is almost over and they take a while to get here so all the ones that are shipping to my house will get there um like i won't be able to make videos until the summer so like uh, middle of May um, but for this one I can actually make a video just in a few days when it gets here uh, the latest it was supposed to get here was the 14th it was supposed to be 12th the 14th here it says the estimated arrivals 14 to 21st but that's like if I ordered it today um, but I ordered it a few days ago so estimated for tomorrow or um, Thursday or Friday but it's supposedly coming tomorrow but yeah the absolute latest Friday so that's cool so this one is coming yeah relatively fast it's a really large gar skull and the species is florida gar um so that's like an actual species not just it being from florida it is from florida though so that's interesting also makes sense though um but yeah species is florida gar so this will be my first gar skull however i do have a taxidermy long nose gar at my house too um and it's pretty cool so we are going to be taking a look at the Mutt Jack Skull now and talking about that. So let's get into that. So here's the Mutt Jack Skull that I ordered. So as you can see here, there is only one available. So let's talk about that. So this is the skull here. These images here, um, starting with this one, are the exact skull that's for sale, um, at least supposedly. So like I say, the thing is, um, it says only one available. So here's the thing. So, only one available, right? So, I purchase it, and after buying it, I notice it still says only one available. So, then I'm thinking, well, that's actually a smart strategy if they made it so that um, whenever you buy one, uh, that they instantly restock um, with another that way. Like, because that's actually a smart strategy. So, that way, if there's only ever one showing as available, people are more inclined to buy it because they think it's the only one available. So, that's actually a smart strategy, but no, that's not the case. Because then, today, I got a message from the seller saying that um, they are going to refund me in three days and um, because they don't actually have it or something. So not only is it still in stock now and people can still buy it, they still don't have any. So even though they're completely out of stock, it still lets you purchase it. So this seller has no clue how to do their job properly, has no clue how to sell on Etsy, and they have 92 sales. So you would think they would be good at this by now, but apparently not because um when i purchased this i did not get it and like well they messaged me saying i'm not going to get it however i still have paid for it and their message was confusing because english is not their first language um but hopefully i get a refund in three days is i think what that was meaning other i mean otherwise i think that meant in three days they'll have a, a shipment of more of them um and have them in stock so then they can send one to me. So I have no clue, but their message was very like cryptic because they were not good at speaking English, so it's just very confusing. But this is a very cursed animal for me because the first time I tried to buy Mutt Jack's Skull was also from Etsy, and it was only payable by PayPal, just like this one. So as soon as I go in there, pay with PayPal, and then for some reason, my account was corrupted, so ever since then, my PayPal account was um, restricted and I was not allowed to purchase anything ever again from PayPal. So that was extremely upsetting how that how by trying to purchase the Muntjac Skull corrupted my PayPal. Um, so then the second time was from AliExpress and I purchased the Muntjac Skull from there. However, um, that one it was $100 and it ends up not actually arriving because the boat it was on sank. So that was number two, and then the seller refused to refund it. So uh, we contacted the 
um, like the actual website, AliExpress, and they forced the seller to give us the money back. Um, Cause yeah, we just it straight up didn't get it, and the seller sucked. And anyway, then the third time, once again, pay only with PayPal. And so I do that. It works this time because I actually had to create a whole new PayPal account with a different email, and luckily it worked. So I can now purchase things with PayPal again, thankfully, um, if I need to in the future. But the thing is that now this one was, even though it says it's still purchasable, it is not. There's nothing here to buy. So if I just add it to cart, buy it now, whatever, it will not come because they don't have any. But they're too stupid to actually update it so that it shows that they don't have any. Because it should be showing as out of stock, but they just can't comprehend how to fix it. So that's very frustrating. But like I say, it's a cursed animal, and I will probably never get a Muntjuck Skull until I decide I should just give up and buy a replica from Skulls Unlimited. But I want a real one. But it's looking like I'm just going to have to buy a replica from Skulls Unlimited. So, yeah. Um, anyway, that was the problem with this. And I was hoping I could get a Muntjuck Skull, especially one this cheap. But if it's not in stock, that, yep, that just sucks. Cursed animal for me. Um, anyway, and if this one, if I, like, if they don't restock in three days and they just refund me, um, then, uh, instead I will buy a lion skull, um, and that'll be cool too. And so, yeah, that'll be fun. Um, anyway, so that is all for Etsy, so hopefully they fix this or something maybe i will get it maybe they just refund me i don't know their message was horrible at like being comprehensible um but anyway and then i got the gar so the gar is number one this is possibly number two but we'll but we'll exclude this for later and count it as um the seventh item so gar is number one now we switch over to aliexpress to check out some more items so here's the item from aliexpress so this one is a barracuda skull listed as an angler fish because people don't know their fish. Um, so it is about eight inches long. There's multiple of them for sale here. There's only one when I bought it and now and I bought the last one. Um, and anyway, last time I bought from AliExpress the Muntjac skull, like I say, it did not arrive um, and there was no tracking on it. This one actually has tracking, so that is really good. So I actually can make sure I get it. Um, and so it's really cool because it's a very large barracuda skull. Obviously, they get much bigger than this. I've seen foot-long skulls for sale. Um, but 8 inches is still a pretty good size. Um, very cool looking. Uh, it doesn't have the eye ring um, on either side, but it's still a really cool skull. And who knows, maybe I can make one out of some kind of material and then put it in there. I don't know. But anyway, whether it has it or not, it's really cool. And it doesn't say the price here. This was only um, $60 for this, whereas normally you would be paying $300 plus for a Barracuda Skull. So I'd say that's a pretty good deal right here. So that is um, awesome. And then the other thing I bought from uh, that came from the same seller was a large head hair tail skull. So this is a fish that looks pretty similar to a Barracuda, at least skull-wise. Um, so let's look at the skull. Okay, so here it is. It looks very similar to the Barracuda Skull, which is kind of interesting um, because the fish itself looks pretty different. They're not entirely different, but there's definitely some differences. These are more elongated, and um, they live in a different area in terms of, like, water column depth. Um, but anyway, it's interesting. Uh, so this is the skull here. Um, the one I bought was um, 10 centimeters, so about 4 inches uh, the one in the image here is bigger than that. You can buy up to 15 um, centimeters. Uh, but anyway, it's a really cool skull. And this one was only $20. So it was like $80 total for the Barracuda and the Hairtail, both from the same seller. So it was really convenient that way. Um, and yeah, they'll both be here supposedly in a month. However, shipping from AliExpress usually takes three to four months to get things to my house for some reason um so yeah we'll just see when it gets here but hopefully it comes in a month like it says it will um yeah so anyway these are both cool skulls 
um, Barracuda, and Hairtail. So that is skull number three and four. Um, they're pretty cool. And then the other ones are from another website that is um, not really famous. Um, I don't know how many sales they get. Uh, but anyway, they have some pretty cool items for sale. So we're going to look at the three things I bought from them. So the first item I bought from here is the Pike Perch Skull. So I did a poll on my Green Zephyr channel, my most popular channel, um, asking which skull I should buy um, between the Pike Perch and the Scorpion Fish. And the majority of the votes picked Pike Perch as of when I um, was purchasing. I, it should probably still be ahead because it was like quite a few ahead um, in votes. Uh, I don't know. It could have changed. But anyway, as of when I bought it, the Pike Perch was ahead by like 10 or more. Um, so anyway, uh, so here it is, Pike Perch Skull. Um, it's a very interesting fish. You can Google um, the Pike Perch. It's, a, it's also called the Xander um, uh, with a Z here. It says Sander. That's the scientific name, I think. Um, but... Uh, the Pike Perch is also called the Xander. Um, in any way, it's a very um, uh, cool fish. This one is a 12 centimeter skull, so around 5 inches, a little bit smaller. Um, but it's a uh, cool skull. Um, very interesting. Um, and this website is European. So um, while it was $76 here, it actually cost, um, I forget, like in the 80s for me. Uh, anyway, um, very interesting fish. Um, and then the next one I bought was the conger eel. So this one is really awesome. A very unique fish to own a skull from. This is the only one of these I've ever seen for sale. Um, and I got this one for, it says 104 here for me. I think it was like a hundred, uh, 115 or something like that. Um, in United States dollars. Um, so it's a very interesting skull. Here we actually have, uh, we can get a better look at some of this. So here's a skull here. We can zoom in on this um, and see from the side view here. It's a very interesting fish skull. Um, very cool. Uh, the This view is from the front. So you can see in the middle on the top jaw, there's a tooth pad there. Um, the middle of the bottom jaw has no teeth in it. Um, and the bone fuses there uh, like most animals. Um and then yeah it has a whole lot of teeth uh a lot of fish do especially catfish and sharks um but like teeth actually being in use like this has a lot of them uh and this is like a chomper for sure these things will um, occasionally attack people um very interesting fish they get pretty large um like over 10 feet i think um anyway this skull is 17 centimeters so it's around um, seven inches, a little less, um, but it's pretty massive, and it's an eel skull, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, it's a very cool fish. They're a very interesting um, species. Uh, here's the other side of the skull. Yeah, I, I'd say this is one of the cooler ones I've bought. Like, it'll be awesome. Of course, the barracuda is really awesome, too, um, but... This one's more unique because I've seen lots of barracuda skulls for sale. Sure, they're expensive, um, but like this one, I this is the only one of these I've ever seen for sale. Conger eel skulls are harder to come by, so I think it's awesome that I was able to purchase this. Um, anyway, and then the last one, number six. Number six is sus. So this is a wild boar skull, um, very sussy. Uh, so... Um, anyway, the interesting thing about this one, so $83 here, that's uh, the only one I remember for sure in U.S. dollars for some reason. Anyway, it's 91 USD. Um, so uh, this one is unbelievable because, first of all, if you have a wild boar skull for sale, it almost always is missing a few teeth, usually more than a few. It almost never has the tusks. Um, it's usually around a foot long or smaller, sometimes a little bit bigger, and it's usually around 200 or more dollars. So this one is a triple bonus. Not only does it have all the teeth and tusks, it's also um, massive, and it's only $91. So I was very lucky to have been able to buy this. 
because it's an extreme deal right here. Um, so this one is 16 inches long, which is an absolutely massive bore. It's listed as young male, which I think is hilarious because even though it is, a young male typically would not be bigger than a um, black bear or a lion, but it is. So I think that's crazy because this young male boar is humongous. Um, but anyway, it's, yeah, not fully grown. The fully grown ones have taller skulls. Uh, but being 16 inches long, it has a massive skull. This is a humongous animal. Um, very cool. And yeah, it has all the tusks, all the teeth. Uh, perfect condition. It's a little old. Um, I want to say... Like, I don't know for sure, but I want to say, like, most likely early 1900s, maybe mid-1900s. It was part of a university collection that they were selling. Um, so that's how I got this one. They were selling the collection of the university on this site. Um, so anyway, this uh, wild boar skull um, used to be part of a university in Europe. Uh, not anymore. Um, so, yeah, some for some reason they decided to sell their collection. So I don't know wh where it came from, but it looks relatively old. Um, and usually university collections are, they could be 1800s, 1700s, although I highly doubt that far back. So probably early 1900s for this guy. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's a really good deal. So I, I was so happy when I saw this for sale. I'm like, yep, I'm buying that. Um, cause yeah, that's really dope right here. And it's also very sus, um, because that's a scientific name. I think that's hilarious because of a mogus. Um, I know a lot of people find that funny these days. So yeah, sus skull. Um, anyway, so yeah, 16 inches long and, um, yeah, old university collection, young male, uh, very interesting skull here. So definitely a cool one. Um, yeah. So that is the six skulls I bought. Muntjack is number seven. However, I highly doubt I will get it because I'm just cursed to cursed when it comes to buying Muntjack skulls. So I guess the thing is, I just have to wait until um, this summer when I get a job and then, yeah, just probably go for the most expensive Muntjack skull for sale um, because that's a higher chance I'm going to get it than buying one of the $100 ones because usually they sell for 250 or so. So either I go for an expensive real one or I just buy the Bone Clones or, or um, Skulls Unlimited one um, for like 200 20 or something like that. I don't know. I mean, it's shipping too. So yeah, it ends up being over 250 anyway. Um, but I really would like a Muntjac skull, but I don't know if it's ever going to happen because of just, it's cursed for me. Like I just, I'm cursed to never own a Muntjac skull and it sucks. I want one so bad. I've wanted one since like seventh grade and I've been unsuccessful and it's been years. So that sucks. But anyway, yeah, I got six cool skulls coming in. The gar is the only one headed here. Um, the rest are going to my house. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but and then I 3D printed a Savannah Monitor Lizard Skull. And that one is done. However, it's I can't really show it off yet because uh, I need some hot glue to glue the bottom jaw together. And at college... For some reason, not one person in my dorm does not happen to have hot glue. And I'm not about to go buy some, especially since I literally spent all my money on skulls. Um, so, um, anyway, once I get hot glue or whatever, um, then I can get the skull, the bottom jaw glued together. And then I can show off the Savannah Monitor Skull that was 3D printed in resin. And it's really cool. I find their teeth very interesting because the front ones are sharp and the back ones are all blunt and um, uh, wide and stuff. Uh, Nile monitors are the same way. They're both very interesting. Um, the Savannah Monitor Skull I printed is about four inches long. I also did a worm lizard. However, the print failed. So they're trying again. And hopefully it works out this time because I was printing it life size instead of larger than life. Um, people sell them at like four inches long. I was trying to get one out life size to be more realistic as cool as the big ones are. But I wanted a realistic sized one. So I printed it out at a centimeter. And uh, the bottom jaw works fine. The bottom jaw wasn't even half a centimeter long. And it, pr and it printed fine. Um, the top jaw and all that somehow did not print fine. So that's very weird and interesting. Um, but yeah, anyway, I have 
six cool skulls coming hopefully the mutt jack but if not and i get the refund then i'm buying a lion skull instead and that one will be really awesome too so yeah get all those incoming um and the videos will be out in a month um or less and then the other problem is the um uh barracuda and hair tail might take several months to come so i don't know but um hopefully they come relatively soon uh hopefully they only take a month to get here even though usually from aliexpress it takes much longer um so yeah um but anyway yeah lots of cool skulls coming um, I think that's it for the video, so thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.